The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We observe his glory, the glory as the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. We think that seeing is believing, right? 
our perception of things is if we can physically see something, then it's proof that it is there. When we hear something, that is proof that it is there. But hope is different. Hope allows us to see things that are truly there, beyond the physical, and many times we are able to see the presence of the living God. Lucy's hope in the past, her past experience, have projected her to live in the present and bring that past into the present. 1 John 1, 1 through 4 says this, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. This life appears, appeared. We have seen it and testify to it. And we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim it to you, what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. Now, this passage is actually not really known as a Christmas passage. Usually we read of the story of Jesus' birth or we read the uh, book of Isaiah where, uh, which Denise read. Wonderful Counselor, Emmanuel, we're looking at this, but this passage is all about the Incarnation. What John is saying here is, I've seen it, I've touched it, I've heard it, I know that it's here. And for us, we're, we're not in that place, we're not seeing Jesus physically, but we believe the story. The story in which truth is found. Lucy was much like John in that she was looking back towards what she could remember, what she could feel and touch, and living her life in a way that represented that belief, that touch, that feel. And this is what Christmas is all about. It's about looking back to God entering into his creation. A long time ago, in fact, what I would say is if you are looking to overcome anything in the world, hurt, sadness, pain, fear, you must look back to this story, reminding yourself where truth is found. Where truth is found in a story. In a story of a babe being born in a manger. The thing that surprises me about this story is the humbleness, right? Jesus, who couldn't even change his own diapers, when he cried, when he was hungry, somebody else had to feed him. The creator of the universe, and in John, which Liv read, it says, whom all things were created through, was humble. If you look at the contemporaries of this time, it was the Greeks, right? And if you've ever read Greek mythology, what you see is something very, very different. What you see is very glorious beginnings. Think of the story of Hercules defeating the two snakes. Glorious beginnings. And as the story progresses, it is a fast, and, uh, a fast downfall. But Jesus starts in humble beginnings. The Word became flesh. Emmanuel. God with us. The, again, the beginning of this story, this grand story, starts with humbleness, closeness, and most important, presence. That God came to this earth to be near, to be close to us. So tonight we look back, but we don't look back to leave it there. We bring it with us. 
we bring the story to the present. The beauty of hope breaking in. Another 20th century theologian, Karl Reiner, on Christmas Eve, heard God speak to him. He heard God whisper, when you celebrate tomorrow, say to me, you are here. You have come. You have come into everything that exists, into everything that we are. It is Christmas. Light the candles. They have more right to exist than all the darkness. John says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I think the best way that we can celebrate Christmas is by making God present here. And so, we're going to light the candles. You all got candles. And we're going to kind of make a circle around the sanctuary. And so, uh, if you guys would stand with me, you can begin to light your candles.